Welcome to Aman Jaiswal's YouTube channel. It's been some time since I was on my channel. Lots of things kept me busy and I am really happy to be back here again. In my earlier series, we were talking about various features and applications of the Ronin RSC2 gimbal. In my last video, I spoke to you about the installation and the features of the Ravenite. Now, in this video, we will be talking about some more features of the DJI Ronin RSC2 app. When we start using the gimbal for the first time, we have to ensure that the gimbal knows how much weight it has to handle. This weight depends on the camera that we are using on the gimbal. In a more technical way, we say that we have to calibrate the gimbal with the camera. This calibration helps the gimbal to understand the weight of the camera and how much the motor can take. Before we start calibrating the gimbal, let's install the camera on the gimbal and do the basic balancing so that when we do the motor test, it does not take time to calibrate the gimbal. There are three ways of calibrating the gimbal. The first method is through the app at a point where it is called motor parameters. When you open the app, under the connect raven eye, there is a motor parameter on the right. When you click on that, it shows you two tabs, basic and the advanced. Under both of these, there will be some default parameters of tilt, roll and the pan as the numbers. Right at the bottom, you will see auto tune. When you press the auto tune, there will be a pop up that will say auto tune preparing to start. Make sure that all gimbal accesses are unlocked. Tap OK to begin auto-tune. This is important because if the locks are not opened, the gimbal will not work properly and your motors will get spoiled. The second method is on the gimbal itself. If we keep the M button and the trigger button pressed for 3 seconds, the gimbal will also auto tune. I will show you what happens to the gimbal. This is how the gimbal can be calibrated. The third way is through the menu on the gimbal. On the left side of the gimbal, you will find a dial. If you press it and scroll up or down, you will find auto tune on the screen of the gimbal. When you reach here, click on the dial and the screen shows start. And if you click on start, it will also auto tune on the gimbal. Now, since we have done the calibration, it is time to balance the camera on the gimbal. This balancing can also be done only through the app. So let's open the app and click on the balancing test on the menu. When we enter the balancing test option, it will show the gimbal is tilted to 15 degrees. This is because you need to tilt the gimbal about to 15 degrees for the gimbal to balance itself. If we keep the gimbal straight, the balancing process will not start. It will show you an error. Once the gimbal is balanced, it will show you it has completed the balancing. Please ensure that your hand should be steady to do the balancing efficiently. Now my balancing is done and all three accesses are excellent and now your gimbal is ready to be used. In my next video, I will tell you how to create some user profiles for yourself so that you can get to them quickly and you don't have to do a lot of settings again. If you like my video, please 
like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon so that when I upload my next video you can get notified and please do not forget to comment it will really help me